Hello, hello. With the short form content on the rise, or I would say as a mainstream form of content, it is very important to have subtitles on your Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts, like right now you see down here. Finally, with the latest DaVinci Resolve 18.5, we are able to generate subtitles from the audio track. Previously, I've been using CapCut or Caption software on my phone to generate subtitles. However, to be fair, it was very inconvenient, as I do all my editing and color grading in DaVinci Resolve. I had to export the video, transfer it to the phone, and then open an application for caption editing on the device itself. But thankfully, I figured out a way not only generate subtitles in Resolve, but also animate them. Let me show how you can do that. Before we continue, make sure to like this video so other people can see and use this technique. We will start by generating our subtitles. To do this, select your audio track, go to Timeline, create subtitles from audio. After a few seconds, you'll have your subtitles generated. From here, usually you can edit the style and position of your text, but we're not going to do that yet, because there is no way to animate subtitles directly. What we're going to do is export our subtitles into SRT files, convert it to XML file, and then import this XML file as a timeline. It might sound very time-consuming and intimidating, but don't worry, it's actually pretty straightforward and easy. Go to File, Export, Subtitle, Name and save the file. Now open up this website and I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Here we're gonna upload our file. Choose SRT to Final Cut Pro XML 1.5, Upload your file and hit send file. It will prompt you to save the XML file shortly. Now we need to get back to DaVinci Resolve and import this XML file as a timeline. We're gonna hit file, import, timeline. Now you'll see the empty timeline with the text layers. Simply copy paste them into your working timeline. Make sure they're aligned with the existing subtitles. From here you can modify the style of the text. Disable subtitles, select all layers. I'm going to choose the font color, and adjust the positioning. Let's finally move on to the pop-up animation. We're going to keep it simple. Create three keyframes, one at the beginning with a zoom 0.855, two frames later with a zoom of 1.24, and another one with a final zoom of 1.0. Open the spline editor, select keyframes, and convert linear to Bezier curves. You can adjust those to your liking, but I will leave them as they are for the tutorial purposes. You can also adjust other parameters like transparency, motion blur, rotation, and so on. The final step is to copy attributes and paste them to other layers. That's it! This is how you can create pop-up animations for your subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. I hope that was helpful. Subscribe for more videography and photography content, and see you in the next one. Cheers!